You have the heart to step into the ring and get it done. You have the heart to step in the ring and bring them, bring them. Come on, let's bring them. I've been in knife fights. I got scars all over my body. I got a bullet wound. And you know what? That doesn't matter. None of that matters. It's all about the heart. You have the warrior's heart. I'm going to train. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to do everything that I can possibly do to get ready for this fight. And then I'm just going to leave it in God's hands. We're going to get in there, and we're going to rock and roll. You know, every fight's the fight of my life, bro. I don't take any fight lightly. I train hard no matter what. And, um, you know, when I look back as an old man, every fight is important to me. You know, when you're young, when you start uh, start getting angry at the world, you don't know why. You just start getting angry at the world because the more you learn, the more you hurt, and you want to do something about it. And that's when the warrior spirit gets in you. And as a youngster, I was always, hey, Ruben's on the war path again. And it just kind of stuck, bro. It just kind of stuck. Everywhere I went, I was just angry, angry engine. I'll fight anybody, anytime, anywhere. Don Fry, come on. That guy's tough as nails. And the only thing that I got going for me is I'm willing to bang. And if we step into the ring and we bang in the middle of the ring, I think we're gonna have one heck of a fight. You know what? What we're gonna utilize is these. Right here, brother. We're just gonna get it on, and the man who's still left standing, is the man who's gonna walk out, the winner, bro. It's as simple as that. Your winner, Warpath! Don Fry, come on. You don't have to be a badass to get in here and do it. You just gotta have the heart. And you know what? It's all about that. I'm six foot four. I'm 260 pounds. When I step in the room, you better look, because I'm coming with it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, out of the blue corner, this man stands six feet, four inches tall, and he weighed in at 258 pounds. He fights for teams No Limits and Marinoble out of Sacramento, California. Please welcome Warpath. Bigger than that, you know, the size of a door. 
Oh, uh, okay. I find his handle on him. Put him down. Take off his hinges. Oh, my God! He's pregnant with a lot head! This, this is classic Don Fry right here. Right in the Don Fry. He may have had the biggest arms in the world, but I got the most dangerous arms in the world. And I hit somebody, I'm gonna hit him hard. I wanna see if I can put Ruben through that fence. So the people in the first couple rows, watch out, be prepared to back up and run. I see this fight going intense. You know, he's, a, he's a big boy. It takes him about three steps to cross the whole damn ring. You know, so it's not gonna take long for us to engage. Once we, once we lock up and engage, it's gonna be a little bighorn. You know? It's gonna be seventh cavalry. Whooping ass on the Sioux this time. Custer didn't have me. Custer would have had me on that hill. It would have been a set different situation. Ruben Warpath, Villarreal, you're in my way. I've been doing this stuff since the beginning, since the dawn of time. This is a scorched turf policy I'm implementing right now, Ruben. And you're the first one in the way. After you, anybody else wants a piece of Don Fry, jump up. These are gonna be asses just like Ruben. Bye, Ruben. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the main event of the evening, after a tenure absence here in the United States, the Predator returns! Out of the red corner, he stands six feet, one inch tall, and he weighed in at 227 pounds. He fights for Team Predator out of Sierra Vista, Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, the world famous Don the Predator Fly! After a 10-year hiatus of competing in Mitz Martial Arts in the United States of America, Don Fry has chosen King of the Cage to make his return. A veteran of numerous fights with huge names in the sport of mixed martial arts, Don Fry has been around since the beginning, and he is a pillar of the sport, coming in to take on Ruben Villarreal. Don Fry is one of the toughest men on the planet. Are you kidding me? He's fighting Ruben Warpath Villarreal. I'm telling you, this, this is going to be a war. I'm excited about seeing Don Fry back in the United States. Actually fighting back in Arizona. This is his home state. Fry making his way into the cage. The legend, Don Fry. Sporting some new shorts here. We got the gold and blue shorts instead of the red, white, and blue. Don Fry is a traditional all-American. A fireman, a former cowboy. He's done pretty much everything there is to do. Yeah, he's acting now. He's in a couple movies. Guys, not double. That was James Lee. Herb Dean, our referee for this fight. This is the main event. Rockstar Energy Drinks presents King of the Cage, Predator Returns, presented by LoneSalem.com. Also, Apache Gold Casino. And you know Ruben Warpath, Villa Reels, is sponsored by... You ready to fight? You ready? Ludicrous Energy Drink, Don Fry is sponsored by Enemy Fighting Gear. Here we go. Nice tap. Don Fry has straight punches and he's not scared to stand there and duke it out. He will stand in front of you and play rock and sock and robots. I think Don only has one thing, this let's punch. Dirty box. Yeah. Ruben Villarreal is 30 pounds bigger. You see him, he's using that weight to the advantage, pressing the action back to the side of the cage. Don't grab the fence, Ruben. Stay out the Don fence. wearing shoes. Now, do you think now in this day and age, shoes are a hindrance or a helpful? For me, they're helpful, man. Uh, helps out with my traction, my explosive, my shots, punches. This advantage would be, you know, obviously submissions. 
Well, I, uh, Ruben Villarreal, although I know he is versed in submissions, hasn't won too many fights via heel hook, I imagine. Right. So not quite as much of a concern as it would be against certain other fighters. Well, look at those shots to the body. I can actually hear the grunts from here. Don Fry, great body shots, as he has always had and watch that. in his arsenal. Mm -hmm. No knee there. You know, I really believe Don Fry wants to get away from Ruben right now and, and have some room to box. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's what he wants to do. He's putting Ruben up against the fence right now. Yeah, I think Ruben's definitely going to have a reach advantage, though, from an outside boxing standpoint. Right. How lucky are we here at King of the Cage to have the return of Don the Predator Fry? Seeing him in action here at the main event as Rockstar Energy Drinks presents King of the Cage. Don't grab the, the fence. Returns. Nice liver shots at Boston. Don't grab Twitter. the fence, Don. Don, don't grab the fence. Don has one underhook. Getting that clutch. Watch those blows. You think Don's going to on the leg. the ground and keep him standing? I think Herb's going to break him here soon. Yeah. I tell you, I've seen, I've been witness to uh, some very serious sparring sets between Don Fry and my original coach, Mark Huas. <laughs> God, that must have been interesting. Some wow. mean stuff going on in that room. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see some of that footage. Let's work, guys. Yeah, James, I think you're right. I think uh, Herb might storm these guys up, break them apart here in a minute. A lot of clinch work, dirty boxing going on. It's like Don Fry has him in a guillotine. Yeah. Well, he is, a, he is a veteran of many fights. He's right. very crafty. Uh, Ruben's out of the now. Don Fry is a tough, crafty guy. You, got, you have to beat him. He's yeah. not going to lose Ruben, the fight. You have to quit. take it from him. And he won't quit. That's the thing. Don Fry will not quit. Yeah, both these guys are true warriors. Heart not lacking at all in this fight. You know, there's a side note on this. Don Fry's uh, all right, guys. had a couple deaths. Let's work. I'm going to break this. Two of his dogs got put this. to sleep that he had, you know, for several years. He was telling me about that. Well, Herb sad. Dean is seriously considering splitting these fighters up. Tom, stop. Clean break. There we go. Let's there we go. This is what the fans want to see. We've been working that jab outside. Don's hands are low, though. Yeah, Ruben said he's been working on his boxing. We'll see. Thomas, please get those hands up there. And Ruben smiled at the leg kick. Whoa! Good shots. Don Fry taking some shots. Yeah, Don Fry just got hit a couple good times. Big, big shots absorbed to the face of Don Fry. He is now recovering. He has double underhooks on Ruben Villarreal. Yeah, Ruben needs to push back out, create that space, and attack him outside, use that reach advantage. Don uh, breathing and breathing through his mouth pretty big there. Don Fry showed a tough chin. He did oh, he's got the guillotine shots. again. I think that's what he wants to go for. He ended up the guillotine here. Yeah, Ruben's got to keep his head up there. Yeah, he's going to catch a knee. Don used to throw in those big knees. Don, where can they get One minute! One minute! A minute left. So far, pretty exciting fight, even though, you know, Ruben's coming in as an underdog. Ruben, don't grab the fence. Definitely giving him a, giving him a good fight. Hey, he's bringing it to the legend. There you go. Nice hand in the face. Look at Ruben there. Great in space. Throwing knees. Oh, maybe a low knee there from Ruben Villarreal. Yeah, looked a little low. Oh. Ruben, some nice uppercuts seconds. there. Great inside seconds. boxing by both these fighters. Don Fry known for his body shots. And Ruben Villarreal doing very well for himself. Nice uppercut. Great. And Ruben firing right back. You know, I just don't know how much cardio Fry has right now. I know he's been training. Oh, oh. nice uppercut. Huge. Huge uppercut. And the superstar, Billy Graham, standing up in the front row cheering for Don Fry. Yeah, they're good friends. Childhood wrestling idol of mine. Oh, well, he survived the first round. Here we go. Wow. Don Fry, no stranger to wrestling, wrestling experience in Japan. And Don Fry doesn't look to be too tired over there. Look at him. Yeah, a couple, couple breathing, heavy breathing. I think he might be pacing himself. Yeah. Ruben Salno uh, taking a knee here. It's like he's more of the tired guy. What if age has a fact of Don Fry being 40 years old? Once again, Rockstar Energy Drinks presents our fight tonight. Also, LongSalend.com. And Don Fry is an elder statesman in the sport of mixed martial arts. And he's holding up very well here in the first round against the younger Ruben Villarreal. 
Well, Don should be at too does big of a disadvantage. Uh, you know, Ruben's in his late 30s. He's ludicrous. Any you drink for you the more path to the real? Here we go, round two. Our second and third rounds here at King of the Cage, Predator Return, presented by Rockstar Energy Drinks. Oh, oh nice knee. knee. Eric, did you catch that wink? Don Fry gave him a wink when they first came out. He winked at him. Don Fry, Don Fry is quite a character. Definitely a character. This is what Warpath needs to do. It's, it's like Don's there. cut. Cut under the right eye. Don is a small cut on his cheek. It's below his eye, not going to affect his vision. No. I don't see that stopping Don. Nothing to stop Don Fry. I like to see Warpath double that jab up and throw that cross down the pipe. I think it's open there. Now with some nice low kicks. You know, several months back, Don Fry was training with Rick Rufus, K1 kickboxing champion. Ruben has Don Fry in Ruben's corner. There we go. Tell you what, this turned out to be a pretty good fight. Yeah, he doubled on those jabs with nice knees, some uppercuts, hooks. Some nice clinch work there from Warpath. Yeah, none of those punches just really landed there. <laughs> Look at uh -oh. that. Uh-oh. And Ruben's in trouble now. Remember, Don Fry is a judo black belt. That's right, Don Fry's got the submission, but I don't think he'll go for submission. I think he's going to punch him right here. And he has a strong wrestling background as well. The superstar Billy Graham giving Don Fry advice. Look at the... Don's got the side choke right now, actually. Billy Graham wearing Don Fry's shirt. <laughs> if Don can get out of that half guard and hop off to the side... he's got a choke. He has a side choke here. Whether he's resting or if it's really a choke. No, he's got it in. He needs to get out of that half guard and hop his hips off. Yeah, Don well, Fry's a judo. He used to do pro wrestling in Japan. No several holes on the ground. Well, a great upper body throw, oh, yeah. judo style from Don Fry, and he's in the mount. Uh, bad position for Warpath. He needs to get off his back. Warpath is trapped against the fence. Oh yeah, this is where Don's gonna rain some leather, heavy leather. And remember, he's scoring in the eyes of the judges in a very oh, yeah. superior position. Hey, he's got full mount. He's got total domination at this point. Don going for that forearm front choke. Another one. You know he wants to throw an elbow. Oh, no question. It's kind of a stupid thing. Well, Don Fry's been fighting in Japan for 10 years. Of course, there are no elbows allowed in any organization in Japan, so he's used to no elbows. Right. Sure. Good sure. work. Good work. Not with the knowledge base here. Not with the night encyclopedia here, MMA. I am a wealth of useless knowledge. Don <laughs> Fry, meanwhile, still in the mount. You know, Herb's, Herb Dean's doing a great job just letting these fighters fight. Well, in the mount position, you know, even though Don Fry hasn't really we'll put work. on the onslaught. We'll you need to work. This is a position that should should be left alone and let the fighters work it out. As Mark Coleman would say when he corners people, work it out. Work it work out. Work it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ruben, oh, Ruben nice push for Don. There we go. Yeah. Don looks just a little tired here. Speaking of Mark Coleman, yet another great legend of sport of mixed martial arts that Don Fry has had some battles with. I'll tell you what, the Mark Coleman Don Fry fight was a classic for any MMA fan to watch. Ruben actually not doing a bad job on his back. Yeah, controlling the hands of Don Fry. Once again, we want to thank Rockstar Energy Drink and LoansToLand.com for helping make this King of the Cage event possible. He's blocking those hammer fists. And Don Fry is bleeding from the nose. Big hammer fist oh, yeah. by Don Fry. Yeah, but those aren't really landing too hard. You know, I don't think the, the, the referee's going to stop that on that. Don Fry appears to be somewhat gassy. He's controlling the pace. Mason One himself, minute! But he is breathing hard. One minute! Let's see if Ruben can get off his back. Ruben has a reach advantage, and that is helping him strike Don off his back. Yeah, he's trying to lock up those arms here. Don Fry keeps putting that big forearm in Ruben's neck. Ruben not giving up, firing back. He is. He's doing a great job off his back for a big guy. Don's having a hard time reaching the face of Ruben Villarreal. Watch the blows to the throat. Look how big those arms are, you know? I ain't hurt my neck of these guys up. 30 seconds! 30 seconds left. 30 seconds! 
Don Fry most certainly winning the second round here. Don's gonna step over to side mount. Need a body, possibly. Warpath talking to Don Fry, and I have no idea what he's saying. Having, he's having quite a one-sided conversation. I couldn't make it out. He's probably I'm telling him, you don't, you're not choking me, you're not choking me. I think he was saying, stop hitting me. Right. <laughs> stop. 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 They said it was, he told me later it was three. Don Fry most certainly winning that second round with the malposition throughout the majority of those five minutes, James Lee. And the first round, very close, however, I believe Ruben Villarreal controlled the first round. Yeah. So we are looking at a possible one-to-one -one scoring rounds, making this third and final round. The, yeah, Don Fry definitely uh, was in the, the malposition, scored up a huge, huge lead, in my opinion. <laughs> Although not inflicting a lot of damage on, on, on uh, Warpath, still looks pretty fresh. You know, with the reach disadvantage that Don Fry has, even though he is a great boxer and has some hard punches, I would look for him to get the takedown once again. Let's see if Ruben can utilize that reach advantage here. Don really needs to get the takedown, in my opinion. He has a reach disadvantage. He looks a little bit tired at the moment. And he controlled the second round very well on the ground, so why not do so again? I think Doesn't really like there's much on those punches there. No, nah, Warpath needs to definitely uh, push out and not get into a grappling match with uh, Fry here. Yeah, definitely. Warpath did a great job with the clinch with knees, punches, fighting very well off the cage. Yeah, I think Warpath's looking a little fresher. I think he should take advantage and not let Fry rest on him as much. Take advantage of the cardiovascular. Nice knees from Ruben there. Make some space. Do not go on the ground. Get off the fence. Get out the you need to work. Let's work. Once again, Rockstar Energy Drinks making this event possible. Come on. Let's go over the casino. Let's work, guys. John, the Predator 5, taking on Ruben, the Warpath, via Real, in our main event here at Apache Gold Casino. Herb Dean se separates. I'm here in the third and deciding round. And all three of your commentators' opinions, the fight is tied one round apiece. And this is going to make a winner here in this round. Don doing a good job defending those knees, though. I look for the takedown, though, like you said. Oh, nice right cross. Yeah, that one looked good. <laughs> Don Fry Sweat just got all over my arm. <laughs> yeah, mine too. Here. <laughs> you were lucky. <laughs> Consider yourself honored. Don Fry Sweat on you. I've actually sparred with Don Fry. I've been on the end of those punches. You don't want to be there. <laughs> oh, that. Hey, Roy, Ruben's doing the right thing. Back exactly. in the ring. Exactly. He needs to put his hands up. up. Yeah. yeah. Don's going to throw a kick. It looks like a low kick. Boy, you called that, huh? We should probably fire that right cross right down the pipe when he throws that low yeah. kick. That's Don, what I'm thinking. Don's looking to throw that right hand now. He loaded up with a couple low kicks. And now he's going to try to come back with that right hand. Yeah, Don looking for the takedown, too. Don puts his hands on the hips. Looks like he's a little tired. Yeah, Ruben needs to get after him right now. Yeah, he needs a press action. You're fighting a living legend in his hometown. I wouldn't want to leave that in the hand of the judges here. Yeah. As far as Ruben Villarreal is concerned, this is an Indian reservation. This is his hometown. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Cowboy versus Indian. Most of Ruben's uh, war paintings came off his face by now. 
Don Fly needs to really get something going if he wants to take this decision. This is an extremely close fight. One of these guys going to have to step up here. The crowd is on their feet. No one is in their seats. Everybody's standing up. Ooh. Ruben Beard out there in a lot of Two knees, and some of them really low. Yeah. And once again, Don Fry, the last man in the world to complain about anything. No, he hasn't said a word. Nice body shots. Ruben Beard with a body shot. Hooks. Ruben just staying busy in there with Don Fry. Great clinch work. Ruben pummeling in here. We are in the closing half oh, nice of the third uppercut. and final round. Here at the main event, the Predator returns. Don Fry just getting a little bit of the better of the dirty boxing. Yes. Nice yes. punch. Yeah. And now, look at this, Warpath backing up. Trying to throw a kick. Yeah, these guys are exhausted here. Don Fry got a finger in the eye. One minute! There it goes. Oh, Ruben is coming strong. There's the heart. Somebody needs to step up. Take this thing home. You can see a huge upset here, guys. Take it home. Don really needs a takedown or something big at this moment. Ruben's lips bleeding a little bit. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left in the 30 fight. 30 seconds. Great fight so far. In my opinion, Don Fry on the losing half of this third and deciding round. Unless something big happens right now, I don't see, uh, I don't know if Don can pull it off. We are in his hometown though. Anything can happen as you guys know with uh, leaving the hand in the judges. 10 seconds left. We gotta remember Don Fry did mount him for a whole round. What a fight between a stable in the sport of mixed martial arts. Team Predator, represented by its leader, Don the Predator Fry. An Arizonan, represented in his home state against none other than King of the Cage's own, Ruben Warpath via Real as Rockstar Energy Drinks presents King of the Cage. The Predator returns. Ruben Villarreal doing an incredible job against the legend. Like I said, he is an absolute pillar of the sport of mixed martial arts, one of the original and one of the greatest, Don Fry. Yeah, Don, Don, a pioneer of the sport, you know, the founding father, if you will. It's always a pleasure. What's your take, Apple? How do you think things are going to turn out here? Well, I really think that Ruben Villarreal overcame the odds and took the fight there in the third round. Certainly losing the fight on the ground there in the second round, but basically outworking Fry in the clinch. Yeah. In my opinion. A very workmanlike victory for Ruben Villarreal, you know? I would have to agree. Nose to the grindstone, blue collar victory. Just go to work, get it done. Warpath is a tough, tough man. And so was Don Fry. It's my first time seeing Don Fry fight live, actually. And a tough loss is going to be for either fighter, as the fight was very, very competitive and very close. Neither fighter really getting, you know, a tremendous upper hand. Not too much damage done to either fighter. Don Fry did spend the, almost all of the second round of the mount, but remember our sport is judged round by round basis. No. Now, could you say there was a 10-8 round, round with the mount the entire time? I don't think so, because he didn't incur enough damage. I, I would have to agree with you. I would have to agree with you. But, you know, it, anything can happen. You know, the best thing could be rolled to draw.
taking a long time for those judges to get that decision in there. Ladies and gentlemen, after three exciting rounds, let's give both of these warriors a big round of applause. And now to the judges' scorecard. Judge A scores the bout 88, Fry, 89, Warpath. Judge B scores the bout 88, Fry, 83, Warpath. And Judge C scores the bout 88, Fry, 88 Warpath for a split decision draw! Let's give a big round of applause for both of these warriors. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to do our interviews of both these great fighters from Coolidge, Arizona, Shannon the Cannon Rich. Hey, let me get a couple of these fighters here. Let me talk with Ruben Warpath Villa Real first here. Ruben, you fought on the reservation. You fought for King of the Cage here. How does it feel fighting Don the Predator to fly a living legend? It's nothing but an honor. And it's an honor to do it right here in front of the best crowd in the United States. Hey, Ruben, that was a very, very close fight in my book. I mean, I think the second round might have been 10-8. Um, what, what do you think what happened with that fight? Why didn't you win that fight? Well, you know, when you live and fight and breathe to kick ass, excuse my language, you, and they, it doesn't always go your way. Um, he's just a strong man, and it's hard to get around somebody who's got you in the grip. Um, I, give, I don't give anything more than that's the man. He knows how to fight, and it just came out the way it came out this time. Well, you know, you fought really well. I think, I think it was an awesome fight. You stepped up and fought Don the Predator Fry. What's next for Ruben Warpath Villarreal? Whatever comes my way, whatever opponent's next, line them up. I'm there to take them all on. I'll tell you what, would you like a rematch with this guy? Anytime, any place. Any, anytime you get a, a fight with a true warrior, I'm always up. That's right. You got anybody to thank? I want to thank King of the Cage for giving me this opportunity. I have a new sponsor. Um, I want to give them a, a round of shouts. Thank you very much for treating me well. And uh, I want to thank all the good people here. Dave Huerta, my manager, Phil Fathers, my number one sponsor, my best friend right there, sidekick, that's the man. Thank you so much. Hey everybody, big hand for Ruben Villarreal! <laughs> and here we are with the legend, Don the Predator Fry. Don, you just, man, that was a war right there. That was a great fight, you know, I'm uh, looking forward to a rematch with uh, Ruben. And uh, we're gonna go hard next time too. I think, uh, Next time we we'll go for a belt. Next time you want a belt fight, huh? I want to challenge him for his uh, championship. I'm, I'm an eighth Cherokee, you know, so I figured he's a Native American champion. I'll fight him for a Native American championship. Wow, we'll have a Native American world title. Don, you fought, this is the first time you fought in a cage in 10 years, and you're fighting in Arizona, your home state. How does that feel? Feels great, feels great. Just uh, sorry I didn't give a better performance, but it wasn't my fault, didn't uh, look better. It was Ruben's fault. You know, uh, he shut me down everything I tried. You know, he's a great fighter and uh, put the boost to me and uh, stopped all my offense. Well, I'll tell you what, man, you look good to me and I thought, I thought that was one hell of a fight. Uh, what's next for Donna Predator Fry? Um, let's see, I've got a K-1 again in August. Uh, next week I go over to California and do a movie with Rob Snyder and um, hope somewhere in there I get a rematch against Ruben. Well, Don, I'm looking forward to seeing you fight for King of the Cage again. Um, you got anybody you want to thank? Any sponsors? Anybody in your corner? Yeah, all my guys in my corner. Um, Superstar Billy Graham. Sorry, Super. Uh, my fault. Bad night, man. Actually, it's Ruben's fault. I had a bad night. You know? Um, enemy, enemy Brothers. Enemy Fight Gear. Molly calls them Enemy Brothers. Um, Brian and uh, Out Cold and uh, GLC 2000. They all have great sponsors. And uh, like I said, ready to go again against Ruben. Well, we look forward to seeing you again, Don Fry. Thank you for coming to King of the Cage, fighting in Arizona. Let's give a big hand for Don, the Predator Fry!
And now, ladies and gentlemen, to close the show, none other than the bad apple, Eric Apple. Once again, King of the Cage delivers with some of the greatest action in mixed. Do you have the heart to step into the ring and get it done? Do you have the heart to step in the ring and bring them? Bring them. Come on, let's bring them. I've been in knife fights. I got scars all over my body. I got a bullet wound. And you know what? That doesn't matter. None of that matters. It's all about the heart. You have the warrior's heart. I'm going to train. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to do everything that I can possibly do to get ready for this fight. And then I'm just going to leave it in God's hands. We're going to get in there, and we're going to rock and roll. You know, every fight's the fight of my life, bro. I don't take any fight lightly. I train hard no matter what. And um, you know, when I look back as an old man, every fight is important to me. You know, when you're young, when you start up, uh, start getting angry at the world. You don't know why. You just start getting angry at the world because the more you learn, the more you hurt and you want to do something about it. And that's when the warrior spirit gets in you. And as a youngster, I was always, hey, Ruben's on the war path again. And it just kind of stuck, bro. It just kind of stuck. Everywhere I went, I was just angry. And Energy drink. Green engine. I'll fight anybody, anytime, anywhere. Don Fry, come on. That guy's tough as nails. And the only thing that I got going for me is I'm willing to bang. And if we step into the ring and we bang in the middle of the ring, I think we're going to have one heck of a fight. You know what? What we're going to utilize is these, right here, brother. We're just going to get it on, and the man who's still left standing, it's the man who's going to walk out, the winner, bro. It's as simple as that. Your winner, Warpath. Don Fry, come on. You don't have to be a badass to get in here and do it. You just got to have the heart. And you know what? It's all about that. I'm six foot four. I'm 260 pounds. When I step in the room, you better look, because I'm coming with it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, out of the blue corner, this man stands six feet, four inches tall, and he weighed in at 258 pounds. He fights for teams No Limits and Marinovo out of Sacramento, California. Please welcome Warpath. hit somebody, I'm gonna hit them hard. So the people in the first couple rows, watch out. Once we lock up the gauge, it's gonna be a little big horn. You gotta be mentally prepared to take it just because you got a pretty body. You don't mean you're gonna be able to take a fast one. Do the warpath, be a real. You're in my way. Warpath 
tell, I know he's a big old boy. You know, 6'8", 270, 280. You don't get much bigger than that. You know, that's the size of a door. So I hope to find his handle on him, put him down, take off his hinges. Oh my God, he's pregnant with the one head. This, this is classic Don Fry right here. Red and I saw Don Fry. He may have had the biggest arms in the world, but I got the most dangerous arms in the world. When I hit somebody, I want to hit them hard. I want to see if I can put Ruben through that fence. So the people in the first couple rows, watch out. Be prepared to back up and run. I see this fight going intense. You know, he's, a, he's a big boy. It takes him about three steps to cross the whole damn ring. You know, so it's not going to take long for us to engage. Once we, once we lock up and engage, it's going to be a little bighorn. It's going to be 7th Calvary whooping ass on the Sioux this time. Custer didn't have me. Custer would have had me on that hill. It would have been a different situation. Ruben Warpath, Villarreal, you're in my way. I've been doing this stuff since the beginning, since the dawn of time. This is a scorched turf policy I'm implementing right now, Ruben. And you're the first one in the way. After you, anybody else wants a piece of Don Fry, jump up. These are gonna be asses just like Ruben. Bye, Ruben. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the main event of the evening, after